Okay, I'm gonna do my pipe frill. I have a piece of uh, plastic tubing. And what I do is I'll take this. There's better ways of doing this, I'm sure. And I'll mark the center of my pipe. And I'll transfer that line all the way down and across. And I'll take my pipe and go up and make my other line. X marks the spot. And I'll drill my hole there. Okay, once I got the hole drilled, I'm going to put my pipe in. I'm going to slide that all the way through. I'm going to make short sure straights not hanging down or in a bad way. I'm going to take a magic marker and I'm going to do the same thing for this side. Now if you build a bunch of builds you could do this a whole lot easier than what I'm doing. We're going to mark that center. Come up here. Transfer that hole. And I'll take my pipe back out. Mark my center again. Mark my center. That marks the spot again. I'll drill that out. Now with my hole drilled, I can push that all the way through. So my pipe looks like that. Now what I'll do is I'll glue this here and here. Some people like to take this out and drill. It doesn't really matter. But we'll seal her up now. So we'll uh, glue my pipe through in. It's a little bit messy. But I like to make sure that my pipe seals. If it don't seal, it can leak there. But it... Also, you don't want your pipe through so tight that it distorts the case. The pipe through cannot distort the case or it will leak. So I have it where I want it. And get my goop in here. Make sure we get it all the way around so it can't leak anywhere. Now if this is like I said it's came okay, case you're gonna to wanna to be a lot more careful when I am. I'm gonna be covering this. So this is not a I'm not concerned. Okay, that part there's done. Next part we're gonna <clears throat> connect the uh, board to the camera. Okay, I'm going to wire in the uh, camera. Now, I put servo on my power leads. So, for my external for my camera, I want positive to positive, negative to negative. But I have a servo in here, so I get lucky. So, all I got to do is plug this thing together, and my externals is hooked up. I like a little extra wire in case I want to pull the camera away from there a little bit. So, we're good. Now we need to hook up the board. There's a little hole underneath the battery. We're going to slide that wire through. And we want to come over here where the green connector is. Now if you're using heat shrink, 
which I am using. You gotta make sure you don't get the heat shrink so hot that you melt the uh, wire, the insulation off the wires inside. I've seen people do that. Now what I also want to do here, I'm going to slide this out as much as I can because when I clip these wires, when I clip them, well, I mean, when I'm getting them, preparing them to go into the board, I want to tin them. So I'm going to pull the insulation off, insulation off, and I got well, far more than what I wanted. That's why it's always nice to have a little extra. So for this camera, gray is uh, my power on, white is common, yellow is my shutter. Now on the connector, sorry about that, on the connector it goes power, power, power common, shutter common, and shutter. We'll tin these wires. And they're tin. Now, if you remember, I said the first wire is my power. So the first, first, the top one on this particular setup is my uh, power on. And we're gonna put on our power but our power wire, which is our top one in this configuration, and that goes to P terminal. That one there gets hooked up. Okay, now I'm ready for the second wire, which is my common. Okay, I'm ready for my shutter wire, which is the last wire. It'll be the last terminal of the block, so I'll actually skip one on this one. Full wire, you would use the shutter common for the next one. But since this is a three wire, I'll use uh, just a shutter. Make sure they're in. Yeah, I can pull that just a little bit now. And there I'm wired up.